Hi, my name is Britt Spears. I'm a certified prosthetist orthotist and a fellow of the American Academy of Orthotists and Prosthetists. Today's discussion is going to be on functional levels. Functional levels were designated through Medicare. When Medicare designated functional levels of amputees, other insurance companies, such as your private insurance companies, followed suit, and they require functional levels now. Functional levels are classifications that start with the letter K. Um, they go from K0 through a K4. A K0 is a person that has no functional needs for a prosthesis. This would be somebody that generally would uh, be, for an example, paralyzed from the waist down or laying in a, in a bed with a respirator they would never be able to utilize a prosthesis, and a prosthesis would not aid in their lifestyle. A K1, which is the next step up, is somebody that would use that for basic ambulation. They would use it for basically getting out of the bed to the wheelchair. It would help them transfer. The uh, K1 also walks with a single speed they're not able to vary their cadence. Cadence is the, the speed in which you walk. Um, a K2, which is the third level up, would be somebody that would be classified as a household ambulator. They basically are going to utilize the prosthesis for getting around in their house. They're utilizing one speed. They're able to go about the house much more freely. They can walk outside. Um, generally, a K2 ambulator is going to be utilizing some form of an assistive device for walking, such as a cane or a walker. They may also utilize a wheelchair a lot of times. Now, the next step up is a K3 ambulator. A K3 ambulator is somebody that's able to vary their cadence. They're considered a community ambulator. They can navigate stairs, ramps, inclines, and they can walk at various speeds. Um, and when I say various speeds, I'm not talking about just normal walking and then slowing down. I'm talking about slowing down, speeding up, and normal walking speeds or rates. Um, the K3 ambulator and above are able to get higher functional components. And when I say higher functional components, I'm referring to energy storing feet. They're able to utilize hydraulic knees. They're also able to utilize bionics. They are within the realm of a K3. Now a K4 is somebody which basically is able to put the stresses on a prosthesis much like that of a child. Why would we say the stress of a child? A child, whenever they are in a prosthesis, it's not a question of if they're going to break the prosthesis, it's a question of when they're going to break one. We can do everything as, as uh, built up to above tolerances as we can and strengthen the prosthesis, but a child is going to find a way to break the prosthesis. So K4 would be in an adult, somebody that's athletic, much like a runner or somebody that does weightlifting. Um, thank you, this is Britt Spears.